Hello and welcome to today's Ethereum price prediction video. And yes, Ethereum broke out out of our horizontal range towards the upside. And at the moment, we are actually hitting a super important and critical level of resistance. If we go right now on a lower term time frame on the 15 minute, we are going to go from swing low, we go to swing high after we hit our 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level almost to the exact dollar accuracy, Ethereum definitely got a breakout and an increase of the price of approximately 6.7%. On our yesterday's live stream, we were actually mentioning that there could be a potential liquidity grab above our previous high. People are setting the stop losses above the previous highs, so potentially we could be expecting that they are going to get stopped out and of course potential reversal towards the downside. We were waiting for the candle close below our previous high, which you can pretty much see right now that it did not really occur and if there is no liquidity grab, if there is no swing failure pattern, no reason for us to actually be looking to go with a short position on the Ethereum price. Let me go right now with our simple moving averages to actually identify an average trend that Ethereum is at the moment moving in. We can see that our blue simple moving average is above our green one, which simply means we are in the average uptrend on the hourly time frame. But that does not mean right now that Ethereum is actually looking super bullish. And also where we are currently trading on Ethereum, definitely I would say, I would not be looking to go with any of the buy or long position because it is actually going to be a critical level of resistance. More about that a little bit later. So looking right now with our simple moving averages, one could say Ethereum is looking bullish because simple moving averages right now are saying to us, bro, we are in fact in the uptrend right here. And also we are forming higher highs and higher lows. And I would definitely say looking only at those indications, I would say, of course, Ethereum does look bullish. We could be expecting higher price targets, maybe even in the next couple of days here. But how we came to those levels of resistances, in my opinion, it's also another question we need to ask ourselves. Volume on Ethereum, the entire time we have been pulling towards the upside, of course, has been decreasing on the Ethereum price, which is simply going to mean the pull towards the upside, it is going to be considered being a weak pull towards the upside. Now, later, I am going to show you a level that needs to see a break towards the downside, if, of course, then we could be expecting lower targets on Bitcoin. But as said, we are right now looking at the average uptrend right here with the simple moving averages with our market structure. And yes, personally, I would like to actually see a little bit higher price targets before, as said before, because of volume, I would expect a pull towards the downside on the Ethereum price. Going right now on the four hour time frame, we are actually going to be measuring the entire price action that Ethereum has been forming for the past couple of days here. And looking at that, we can clearly see we are trading at the value area high, our volume level of resistance, 2,567 US dollars. On top of that, going on the hourly time frame, going with our Fibonacci retracement from swing high to swing low, we are at the golden Fibonacci ratio. And on top of that, as mentioned, we are also trading at a daily high term time frame level of resistance on the Ethereum price. Now, the thing is, we came into the resistance level with a very, very low volume, but because we are not seeing any major sign of a rejection at the moment on Ethereum, I simply would also say, going with a short position right now, it's going to be more of a riskier move. Remember, we are in the middle of the weekend right now. And of course, lower volume, it's a little bit more, I would say reasonable right now. But nevertheless, because we are trading at such an important level, I would definitely not be looking for longs here, only a potential short, but shorting right now, because yeah, we are actually also forming some kind of a horizontal range at the moment on a lower term time frame, which does actually have a higher probability of breaking towards the upside. I am going to show you exactly where I would be looking for short or sell positions on Ethereum if we are actually going to go slightly higher. But before we talk about that, smash up the like button because the goal for today's video would actually be to reach at least 500 likes. Thank you very much if you right now smashed up the like button. So let's talk about 
if we uh well let's talk about where is going to be our next price target for ethereum if our smaller horizontal range that we are forming on the 15 minute time frame is actually going to see a break towards the upside simply our next important price target for ethereum is going to be the top of our horizontal range because remember we already got a first rejection from the top of the range at approximately on 26th of January 2022. And of course, we got then this insane pull towards the downside. And right now, exactly the same story. We are seeing a top of the range for Ethereum at 2,606 US dollars. But now, pay attention because yes, this right here is going to be a key level. But in my opinion, it's actually not going to be any significant level of resistance. And I would only be looking for sells or short positions at this level if Bitcoin is also going to be at the daily level right here at 38,190 US dollars. I would highly recommend you that if you haven't already, check out my Bitcoin price prediction video because it's already uploaded on the channel. But nevertheless, this top of the range at 2,606 literally equals to daily, in my opinion, on Bitcoin. And if we do see actually sign some sign of weaknesses on the... Uh, uh, on, the, uh, on the Bitcoin price right here, of course, I would potentially also be interested going with a short or a sell position on Ethereum. But now, because on Bitcoin, personally, it would be actually very, very nice if we are going to form a higher high here because of the ABC correction that could be happening at the moment for Bitcoin. So that being said, if our previous high on Bitcoin is going to see a break towards the upside, that being said, we are not going to see a rejection at the daily. We are simply going to continue higher above the high. Ethereum does have a Fibonacci level that we need to pay attention to. We go from swing low, we go to swing high right here, and we are going to also go to swing low, looking at our 0.618 Fibonacci extension level at 2,600 and 67 US dollars because also then on Ethereum we can simply say we could potentially be forming some kind of the ABC correction right here and the first target of our uh, ABC correction of our C wave right here is simply going to be 0.618 which would be at 2,667 US dollars on the Ethereum price but now what if Ethereum does go lower and we are simply not going to be hitting our levels of resistances? What would be a bearish indication? Very, very simple. As we were actually already mentioning yesterday on the live stream, going with our higher lows on the break of a diagonal level with the increase of the volume that is, of course, then going to be bearish Ethereum indication. Now, before we actually talk about a very nice level of support for Ethereum, if you would like to trade Bitcoin and Ethereum with us, right now you can be getting up to 600 US dollars for free and buy Bitcoin leverage trading exchange on Delta Exchange right now, up to 30,000 US dollars for free and trading bonus on Famex up to 3,600. But yeah, Delta Exchange right now, 30,000 definitely after initial deposit, you get the bonus, you can trade with the bonus and withdraw the profits to your own wallet. But let me not right now show you where is going to be a beautiful level of support for Ethereum if, for example, we are actually going to see a pull towards the downside. We do have a brand new daily high term time frame level of support that was actually formed yesterday at 2,424 US dollars. Fresh daily, it hasn't been tapped before. We can also go with our Fibonacci retracement from swing low, we go to swing high golden pocket exactly at our fresh daily level of support and on top of that one of the strongest levels if you ask me right now uh, actually measuring the entire lower price action we are going to see our point of control the biggest volume cluster of the entire lower price action would be of course also approximately at the specific area so what we can say if we do actually see a rotation towards the downside, most probably, as mentioned, entering a short position where we are, it's going to be a little bit more risky. Why it's going to be risky? Because we are in the middle of the weekend. And also because if you look like that, market structure, even on a lower term time frame for Ethereum, is actually looking bullish. So if we start breaking a horizontal range towards the downside with the increase of the volume, we then, of course, also do see a very nice support level 2424 where is going to be our daily golden fibonacci ratio and of course our biggest volume cluster of our bottom price action right here now let me show you what would be a perfect selling scenario or actually shorting scenario for ethereum 
going on Ethereum Bitcoin chart here, remember, because Ethereum is following Bitcoin, we always need to do technical analysis also on Ethereum Bitcoin chart right here. And what you're going to see at the moment, Ethereum Bitcoin chart is actually trading at the level of resistance because we are actually at the white box where previously we already got a rejection off of. Previously, it was our level of support. Now, if we go slightly higher on Ethereum Bitcoin, we go with the Fibonacci, we go from swing high, we go to swing low, and what we can see here, our golden Fibonacci ratio for Ethereum Bitcoin chart is going to be perfectly aligning with our value area, uh, value area high right here, volume level of resistance, and of course also golden Fibonacci ratio exactly here. So perfect shorting scenario for Ethereum. We go up on Ethereum Bitcoin chart, we are at the resistance approximately at 0 0.06858 Bitcoin right here, Ethereum USD itself is going to be potentially at the level of resistance, maybe, of course, as mentioned before, at the top of the range right here, $2,610, or maybe even better would be, of course, our 0.618 Fibonacci extension level, which would be a little bit higher, $2,663. US dollars. On top of that, even better, if Bitcoin, for example, is going to be, I don't know, at the daily, for example, even better, of course, if we are actually then breaking through our previous high, but definitely, at the moment where we are, one could say Ethereum is actually in the uptrend, but if you ask me definitely this specific uptrend that we are seeing on Ethereum itself, it's not very, very strong. In my opinion, does look weak. Why? Because volume simply is not following when, bit, uh, when Ethereum right now is actually seeing a pull towards the upside. Also, going right now with our RSI indicator, we are going to go with the four hour time frame where I think we can all agree we are forming a bearish divergence right here. We are forming a lower high right here and a higher high on the RSI indicator, which it is actually going to give us hidden bearish divergence on the four hourly on the RSI indicator. So because that once again, entering a long right here, buying Ethereum right here, in my opinion, at least, it's not really going to be uh, the best idea. Yes, because we are in the uptrend, maybe we could actually expect a little bit higher price targets, but as mentioned, definitely I would be more interested looking for a potential sell or a short positions, especially if we go higher. Now, if we go lower, of course, the daily level, as mentioned, approximately 2,424 US dollars is going to be the area where I would potentially be interested going with a buy or long position right here on the Ethereum price. But if you haven't already right now, please smash up the like button because the goal for this video would actually be to reach at least 500 likes. Subscribe to the channel because I'm doing daily Bitcoin price predictions and technical analysis live streams every single day. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. Peace out.